Hi there, Dr. Pam Garcia here again. And you might have seen my earlier video about the ladder of consciousness, and I wanted to follow that up with another video that relates to it called Self Awareness Feedback and the Ladder of Consciousness. So, first of all, self awareness is just your ability to understand your own patterns and to understand your behaviors, and how your behaviors might be impacting others and yourself. When you have self-awareness, you have the power of choice. So self-awareness is a really wonderful thing to foster and develop. And that is really why people engage in things like therapy to develop self-awareness around how past wounds might be driving their behavior and also coaching to develop self-awareness on how they might improve their effectiveness with other people in their businesses, in their goal setting behaviors and achieving their goals. So if you have self-awareness, you already are coming in with the ability to make choices and you can make choices about where you want to put your level of consciousness. Now, I want to also tie this in with interpersonal relationships and feedback. If you're in an interpersonal relationship that isn't working that well, you might want to look at feedback as a form of growing your own self-awareness so that you can make choices and you can also ascend your ladder of consciousness in terms of where you come in at the problem. So let me slow that down and explain what I mean. If somebody is doing something that is a behavior that hurts you or that affects you adversely, and you tell them that you don't like it, you would hope that they would use that feedback to help them adjust and course correct how they are treating you. Conversely, if somebody tells you that they don't like something you're doing, you would hope that that information could be something that you hear and integrate and learn from so that you become more self-aware. And as you're self-aware, you can make a choice whether or not you want to change the behavior so that you are less hurtful or less impairing to another person. Now, sometimes the source of the feedback may be off. So if you're getting faulty feedback, and you're taking it in, it's important not to internalize that feedback. For example, if somebody is an alcoholic and they're drunk and intoxicated and they're giving you feedback, you know, it's their disorder doing the talking, it's not really them. If somebody is high on weed and they're giving you feedback, it may be the weed doing the talking, not them. So you gotta remember to separate out sometimes the feedback that you're getting from the quality of the feedback that you're getting. But assuming good feedback, you might be able to decide that you've now expanded your self-awareness, you've now grown in your awareness, and that growth in awareness precedes your ability to make a choice. So let's say that you now make a choice to do things differently. You may still have concerns about how you're going to act with another person. What is awesome about using the ladder of consciousness here is if somebody talks to you and you're on this low level, you're just going to be not absorbing. You're going to be reactive. You're going to be fearful. You'll be worried. You're going to be self-conscious. There are just all sorts of negative reactions that you can have. You may feel ashamed or guilty. You're, you might get very triggered. You may even get panicky. Your head might start swimming with ideas of how am I going to get revenge or get back or make them hurt like they've hurt me stuff like that, really, really low level stuff. What you wanna do is slow yourself down, calm yourself down, and think about it from the perspective of this ladder. Are you gonna be able to solve your problem at the same level that you're entering it on? Very often not. In fact, Einstein even has a quote about that, that a problem cannot be solved using the same level of consciousness that created the problem. So. How are we going to do it? Well, we want to raise our consciousness, like we said before, and then come in to the problem, then come in, not even as a problem, but maybe even as a project, maybe even as a challenge to, uh, to growth. And the thinking that you're going to bring into that relationship is going to be so much higher quality. The responses that you're going to give are going to be higher quality because you're slowing yourself down enough to ascend your ladder. And we had talked in the other video about ways to ascend that ladder of consciousness. So I want to challenge you today to make a good choice using your self-awareness 
using feedback that is good, not faulty, if you get it, and to then ascend your ladder of consciousness before entering into interactions. All right, well, I hope that was useful to you. Give me some feedback so I can increase my self-awareness and make more good choices on how I can serve you. And go ahead and get me that feedback on my Dr. Pam Garcia Facebook page or contact me using my other forms of contact. All right, thanks so much. Take care. Bye. This is my life and I'm free to unfold.